Hi, my name is John Azevedo. I recently graduated from University of California, Davis with a degree in clinical nutrition. And right now I work for JS West as a quality control intern. And it's my job to find problem areas in their production where they may be cracking eggs before they pack them. But that's not what I'm going to talk about today. I'm actually going to talk about the nutritional properties of the egg. And right here I have the U.S. national average consumption per year which is 248 eggs per person, and that's quite a bit higher than the global average of 158 eggs per person, but also quite a bit lower than the highest consuming nation, which is Mexico. So it's pretty obvious that we consume a lot of eggs, but we don't only consume eggs as whole eggs. We actually get eggs in our diet through ice cream, breads, pastries, pasta, and mayonnaise. So, you know we get quite a few eggs in our diet and it'd probably be a good idea to know what an egg is made of and how they affect our nutrition. So what I have here is the egg. It's made up of two nutritionally important parts, the yolk and the white. Most of the fat as well as half the protein are found in the yolk and the other half of the protein is found in the white. An average egg contains about 70 calories, 5 grams of fat, and six grams of protein. And that protein, it's important to know, is a high quality protein. It contains all your essential amino acids and it contains them in such a good ratio that when other foods are compared for their protein content, they're compared to the egg. As far as the micronutrient content of the egg goes, the egg actually contains 13 of the 14 essential micronutrients that your body needs to function properly. And some of the more important ones that it contains are calcium, which is important for bone health, vitamin A, which is important for eye health, and vitamin D, which has become increasingly important in today's society. It's actually been shown that 75% of American citizens are insufficient in vitamin D levels, and vitamin D has been linked to diseases like cancer, cardiovascular disease, and diabetes, so all of the major diseases plaguing America today. And the egg is actually one of the only food sources that you can get vitamin D from, so it's definitely a viable nutrition option. Now that you know it's okay to eat an egg a day, how can you incorporate them into your daily routine? I, for one, like to eat eggs throughout the day for their high quality protein. As somebody that works out, the protein in the egg helps me put on muscle, but eggs can work for anybody's goals. If you're trying to lose weight, starting the day out with an egg in the morning has actually been shown to increase your feeling of fullness throughout the day and leads to you eating less. So it'd be a good way for anybody trying to lose weight to start their morning out with. Uh, if you're trying to find something healthy to eat at work, hard-boiled eggs are an excellent snack option compared to many other foods. The nutrient density and the protein fat will get you through the work day. I know some people are worried about cholesterol in their diets, but I have good news for you on the egg front. Eggs have actually been shown to have 14% less cholesterol than we originally thought. And further research has shown that it's not cholesterol you should be worried about when looking at your cholesterol levels. It's actually the saturated fat. And the American Heart Association has even said that an egg a day is okay. The protein, vitamins, and minerals in eggs are all critical for top performance. And eggs are also healthy for children for these same reasons. Children, especially developing children, need protein and high sources of vitamin and minerals to develop properly. This goes as far back as, or it goes as far back to the fetus, where some nutrients in eggs actually lead to proper development and eventually a healthy birth. I hope what I've told you about eggs today helps you improve your health and lifestyle. And remember, eggs don't only taste good, but they're good for your health. Thank you.